Hello my dear brothers and sisters. Today I want to make a video to talk about the most committed sins. Um, there are different types of sins that people do commit, but these ones are the most common ones. Okay, and I want to talk about every single one of them, step by step, you know, so that we can be... Um, making sure that we are not committing any of these sorts of sins because as you know the two witnesses are soon to come in the scene our lord is soon also to come and we must be clean and cleared from all of these um defilements okay and sins before he comes we must wash our clothes uh, and make sure that we are not doing any of them, okay? So that uh, we're going to have clear conscience and our light as well going to shine brighter. And we're going to feel more confidence uh, in terms of um, fighting against powers of the, of the darkness as well, okay? Um, so I'm going to start by reading Revelation 9 and his verse... 20 to 21 so it says but the rest of mankind who were not killed by these plagues did not repent of their works of their hands they that they should not worship demons and idols of gold silver brass stone and wood which can neither see nor hear nor walk and they did not repent also, yeah, of their murders, of their sorceries, or their sexual immorality, or their gifts. Um, and what I like more about these verses is the fact of the order of how they come in the verses. Okay? First... We have idolatry that many sometimes don't realize, but religion is actually related to that, okay? Because many religions has all these idols, okay? They, they have lots of statues you have in Catholic churches, okay? Um, you have it also in Hinduism, you have also in other religions, okay? Buddhism, okay? And um, many others, okay. Uh, and it's not right, okay. It's not good at all. And even if they are already worshipping religion, uh, religion itself. And this religion is not teaching anything exactly how our Lord wants us to know, okay. And this religion is not emphasizing about um, the Ten Commandments, okay? Because all of this, it is the fact that people are not following the Ten Commandments, okay? Um, which we all know, okay? Um, that's what is causing this, okay? And religion is not emphasizing, is not reminding of them. Okay, we should be reminded constantly of the Ten Commandments. Okay, it should be um, in our hearts, okay, in our minds, in our souls. If you don't remember every single one of them, that's fine. At least remember the two most important ones, which is to love our Lord, okay, which is to love God without, with all our heart, mind, and soul, and to love everybody else too, the second one, okay which is to love everybody else and treat everyone as we should, um, as we would treat our own selves or would like to be treated, okay? That is enough to not do any of this, okay? Any sort of idolatry, no murder, no sorcery, okay? Because if anyone commits any type of sorcery against another person, obviously we are damaging their future, we are damaging their blessings. They are da we are damaging um, their will. Okay? Because if, for example, um, a woman does black magic on a guy, uh, a love spell on a guy, 
yeah to make him to love her okay forcing her to love her that's almost pretty much the same thing as kidnapping someone okay that love is not love it's not true love that's obsession it's like you're forcing is forced to be with that person okay and we are automatically removing that person's will free will okay it's not right the same way as they wouldn't love anyone to do that with them we shouldn't do they shouldn't do that to anyone else okay um and i'm gonna talk about this one here alone make a video about this one because we need to know the extent of this one how to protect ourselves how to fight against it okay to whom it works how it works how it doesn't work i'm gonna explain everything making video explaining this because this nowadays is becoming very popular again okay back in the days it used to be very popular but then it stopped for a while okay because a lot of people were being burned alive for doing uh, witchcraft okay but uh, now it's becoming again popular and they're making it look cool okay nowadays as a way of having powers and stuff like that but it's just uh, as i say here witchcraft i say witch crap okay it's just witch crap and then when it comes to immorality we are all aware of these ones okay fornication i've made video about it explaining it okay but uh, there's as well uh, immorality is due to many people possessing the spirit of whoredom as it says in the bible if a man sleeps with a prostitute he becomes a prostitute as well okay because that spirit when we when we make love or we are intimate with someone is not just with body we're getting intimate with spirit as well okay so both spirits are interlining okay so that's why people who worship god or worship christ and are clean cannot have any sort of intimacy with people who are not clean because then it will spoil all of the um hard work in maintaining their spirit clean that will all going to be lost all going to be gone and defiled straight away Okay, you have too many the adultery, bestiality, you know, people sleeping with animals and stuff like that, homosexuality, incest, pedophilia, you know, not allowed to touch ourselves, nothing. We need to maintain ourselves pure. It says in the Bible that our bodies are our temple of God. If we are doing all these dirty, defiled things and pure things, we are defiling ourselves, our Lord won't be able to use us. Okay? Once we have the Spirit of God, it will help us to have a lot of self-control. A lot. Even if it does come, the need of being intimate with someone, okay, we'll be able to control it. And it won't be disturbing as much and as strong as, as if we didn't have the Spirit of God. Okay? And then we have um, gifts. I'm not I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this word properly because I'm not very keen with the th words um to to pronounce it but sometimes when people think about um thefts they just thinking about um bank robbery um um which is the other one um burglary you know they're thinking about somebody going in the street and somebody snatch something from them, even cars or their possessions, you know what I mean? But there's a lot how people nowadays do in gift, okay? Because they want to do it and they, get, they want to not get caught. There's cameras now everywhere. It's easy to, to catch a person that do something like that, okay? you A lot of houses nowadays have cameras. A lot of... um um. A lot of shops has cameras, you know, so they want to do it and then they want to get caught straight away, okay, or even at all if possible. So now we have like corruption, a lot of corruption, you know, government does a lot of corruption. Some people sometimes ask why um, a lot of Africans leave uh, their countries and stuff like that, but it's because of corruption. 
Africa has a lot of natural resources. There's no need to leave Africa. But because of the corruption, of the greed of the politicians, okay, many people are forced to leave their own countries because the government just eating the money alone, not giving nothing to to the, um, the money that was meant to be for people and a share for people. They are eating it alone. Only them and, and, and the family, okay? They just have it for themselves, okay? That's just an example. That's, that's happening a lot, you know? In many countries, okay, the so-called third world countries, okay, that's the main reason of poverty, okay, because of the corruption. Then we have fraud nowadays. Fraud is too much, too much, okay? Too many clever people, especially online, a lot of scams as well, you know. They 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 pretend that they are from some sources or or they make up their own online stuff, you know, pretending to be from banks, pretending to be from um, government, you know, for example, revenue where you can get paid or something like that, asking for your details and stuff like that, or hacking your phones and to get all the details and stuff like that. These people like this, they know all, committing all of this. They're not going to go anywhere. Hell, straight away. If they don't repent, as it says there in the scriptures, they're going to go for hell straight away. And 100%, at least one of these, many of us have already done one of them. At least one. Okay? But... We must pray for forgiveness. We must repent. We must pray for forgiveness, okay? And ask our Lord to guide us and protect us and not let us and give us the spirit that won't allow us to fall in any of this again, okay? Um, because nowadays, murder as well can be through sorcery, okay? There's a lot of people that commit a lot. If this one immorality as well, it's no no point at all, no point at all to be um, a player nowadays. To be a player nowadays, you know, because um, the amount of people. If sometimes you wanna let go of a person, they're gonna say to you, "Where do you think you go? You're not going anywhere." Absolutely not going anywhere. Sorry about that, guys. And they do witchcraft on the on on the person, and the person gonna stay there, you know. Because if if we are not living in a godly life, it's easy to be caught by by sorcery, you know, very easy. Okay. If we have our Lord appreciation and for the, the efforts that we are doing, as soon as we're putting our minds into it, then we're also going to have a lot of protection from him. But if we don't, sorcery is easy to get caught if we're still inside darkness, okay? But like I said to you guys, I'm going to make a video about this, okay? Because um, to explain everything, how it works and how to undo it and how to fight against it if we are um, fighting for somebody else or any of our loved ones as well, okay? But now, for example, religion has a lot sorcery into it, a morality, a lot of sorcery into it. Somebody sent me a video not long ago of a guy that uh, was um, sleeping with women. And um, once he slept with them, do you understand? And be intimate, obviously, um, the girls would die and then that would be a way for him to get money. Okay, as a way of sorcery, sacrificing the people's life, you know. So all of this is just getting too much, too much, too much, too much in this nowadays. Do you understand me? So let us try our best to stay away from this and try our best to remain ourselves clean before our Lord so that he can remain and keep on using us more and more, okay. I pray that you all appreciate this video, okay? This one here, it is the reason why I haven't been making videos, because a lot of fight into it, okay? The enemies never want to give up. Even though you undo it, they still go and try and do it again, and you have to undo it, and they do it, and, and it, it doesn't almost end, okay? 
So I pray that you appreciate for this video and I pray that you all be guided, protected, and blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Bye-bye.